happy Saturday, everybody. Um, had a little talk with some of the folks at, at church and told them I would want to make a video and, and show you guys something that you can do at home while you shelter in place and you don't have to have any great skills. You do have to have a little dexterity in your hand to do it, but I want to demonstrate something for you. And I felt like if it's something that I can do, then maybe it's something that you can do and be a part of uh, supplying, uh, have, make, having supplies for the uh, local medical pros that are on the front line. Uh, this will actually help with the mask making efforts. Um, we've shared on our, our page about the Macon Mask Makers Group. It's a local group of um, in individuals who are mobilized to make items like masks and hair bonnets and headbands and things for those medical professionals. Um, you know, there's, there's a wide variety of individuals that this can affect. Um, from, you know, the nurses to the technicians to the CNAs to um, the uh, uh, people who are um, in food, what do you, whatever you call that, um, who are delivering meals to people who are checking people into the hospitals. Um, this can affect a wide group of people. So there's, as you can imagine, there's a huge need. Well, Making Mask Makers is a group of individuals who are seamstresses and cutters, fabric cutters. I don't know about you, I don't have those skills. I could probably cut but I have been trying to shelter in place as much as possible because I do have my dad here and I do need to um, be a little concerned with, with his health, of course. So this is something that I can do. When I saw a video recently, I thought I wanna do this for you guys and show you just how easy it is. So you're gonna need a couple of supplies. The first thing you're gonna need to do is go through your, your t-shirts, um, men's shirts that are stretchy, fabric, you know, like this. This is an old t-shirt, um, stretchy fabric. Um, I, you're gonna need to cut off the bands and I'll demonstrate that in just a minute, but you can do something really cool with these t-shirts when you do that. I don't know about you guys, but we have a, have a lot of t-shirts that we're not using. You know, they're just either hanging in the closet or in a stack somewhere. Have a stack here. You guys can see some that we've collected. We have more than this. Um, and I got some bright colors, so you guys didn't think you had to do all white or all black or all gray. So these just seem kind of fun. What you'll do with these is to make the strings for the mask so that you can they can uh, be sewn on. They've been using bias tape. Um, those things are getting scarce. Elastic is getting scarce as there are people across the nation that are mobilized to do this. So this is another thing that we can do with some items that we have and we probably need to get rid of anyway. So I wanted to demonstrate first, um, this is a black t-shirt and I asked the question, what about if it has stuff on it? Many of our t-shirts have things printed on there. You can still use that. You can actually cut that and use it in that way. And I'll show you that in just a moment. So I wanted to say, yes, you can do that. But this is what it does. I've already cut um, one of this t-shirt in fact. And what it does is it makes this wonderful string and you can, that can be used to tie the mask on. So um, let's uh, get started. You're gonna need a stack of t-shirts on one t-shirt, but a stack of t-shirts or, or shirts, stretchy knit shirts, you can get your husband's or your own knit shirts hanging in the closet. That, you know, from whatever year, and you know you're not gonna wear them or you don't need to wear them. So you're gonna need that, you're gonna need one of these, um, only because you're gonna need to cut about an inch. And this will give you an idea of what an inch is. So you're gonna need to cut one inch strips. So I happen to have this handy dandy yardstick. I'm not sure if everyone has that, but maybe you have something that'll measure approximately an inch. It doesn't need to be much wider and it doesn't need to be skinny because when you stretch it, it's gonna become skinny. I'm gonna demonstrate that in just a moment. So you're also gonna to need to have a good pair of scissors. Um, so here we go, we're gonna get started. So um, we're gonna, I'm not gonna use this black shirt to cut because I have on a black shirt, so you can't see as well if I do that. So I'm gonna use this orange shirt, um, fantastic. So we're gonna lay it out here like so. You can see it does have writing on it. Um, I'm just gonna stretch it out. And then most of your, of your t-shirts or your shirts are gonna have some kind of um, band or sewing on the bottom where it's been hemmed. You need to cut that off 
The reason is because that is a straight stitch and the straight stitch will just break. So it's not really usable. So I'm just gonna take a minute. I'm gonna cut off the bottom. It doesn't have to be beautiful. You don't have to measure it. Um, well, I just dropped my the back. I didn't have it even. So I'm gonna cut that off and I'm gonna throw that away. But this one stretches a little bit more than others, but I can feel like the thread breaking, so you don't need to do that. So we'll just put that aside. Then I'm gonna straighten out what I messed up. Gonna cut that off the bottom. because I, Again, I didn't have it matched up at the bottom, so that's my fault. Learn from my mistake. Okay, so here we go. So you can see it's not beautiful, it's not straight, it's not professional, none of those kinds of things. So I'm just gonna measure across the bottom with my yardstick to get me a good idea. And again, mine's a little bit ragged, so I'm just gonna go across. My next one's gonna be better because again, this is ragged on the bottom. I just wanna show y'all what this does. So you have this strip. This is not beautiful, but you can see what happens to this strip as you pull it, the fabric, it gets wider and longer. So they need about a good 40 inches. So when I put this on my yardstick, um, this loop measures over 36 inches. So without being cut, it's already 36 inches. So when they cut it, they're gonna have the kind of fabric they need. Another question that I asked was, does it matter what size t-shirt? No, it doesn't. Um, this happens to be a large, um, the one I demonstrated earlier is a women's medium. And this stretched also to over, you know, to my 36 inches. It measures on my yardstick 36 inches without being cut. And you know, the more that you pull it, the, the bigger it gets. So um, I wanted to just demonstrate that for you guys. If it's something you can do, um, in the in the post I'm going to make about this up above there's going to be the information for you to get in contact with them they will come to your house all you have to do is put it on your front porch in a bag and they'll come to your house and they'll pick it up for you you don't have to see anybody you don't have to talk to anybody you can continue being sheltered in place you can be safe so that's what I wanted to demonstrate for you guys this morning hope you have a great day have a great weekend hope we're going to see you in church in the morning you know, online right here in this very place. And um, you guys um, just know, Robbie and I love you and we miss you and look forward to the day that we can all be together. Bye.